Good afternoon, everyone. We're about to begin our program, and we will begin with Denise Bees and Gabby Magali. Let's take over. Will everyone please rise? We will now pay homage and respect due to the flag of our country. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight, o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the Thank you, if everyone can be seated. Good afternoon and welcome. Ms. Fecciarelli, Assistant Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Degnan, Assistant Superintendent of Schools, thank you for being with us. There are some faculty members here. We appreciate you here. Some of our curriculum directors are here. You'll get to see them shortly. And of course, our administrative staff, VPs and deans. I'd like to welcome our award winners for this particular year. You guys did an outstanding job and we're about to recognize you. Uh, and it's well deserved. I'd like to welcome our parents. Okay, thank you for coming. I know it's not easy uh, with everyone's busy schedule, but we do thank you very much and we thank everyone who was responsible for sponsoring an award for our senior class. And I also like to welcome student guests today. On the left-hand side, the students on the side, these students have all proven themselves to be quality, quality students, and they are in the various honor societies. And we invite them here today because the natural progression for you guys, if you continue to do it right, is to be up here next year, okay? That's what's supposed to happen, so stay with it, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna begin our program. There's gonna be a variety of different presenters. We'll try to move at a nice pace. I just want to remind parents, at the end, there'll be no formal recession. The students will stay up here. If you care to come up, uh, that backdrop makes a perfect place to take pictures, so you can do that before you leave today. So feel free at the end of our program. Let me explain the procedure. We're going to call the student up. They'll come. They'll get the award they'll sit back down again. There's really not a lot of rehearsal time for a program like this, not at this time of the year, but we tell them once they know exactly what to do. But I do remind everyone that there's a lot of moving parts to this program. Some awards are, are decided last minute. Sometimes people don't get the awards to us. It's on order. So tonight, if an award is in your name and it hasn't arrived, you'll get it. You'll get it. Okay, so it's, there's just a lot of things to consider. And with the prom on Friday, there is a, a mystique about school attendance and proms. I'm here a long time, I don't always get it. 
So there are a few students who are receiving awards today that may not be present in school today. Again, that's a decision they made with their families. So uh, once again, we are going to uh, move our program along. And as always, we begin with our circle of 10. And I begin in the 10th position. I invite up, we have a tie in 10th position. I invite up Polina Kukar and Reese Crowbridge. Please come up and be recognized. <laughs> give it to me. You can just give it. You can just give it. In the ninth position, we invite up Carolus Agabi. You ready for your speech? In the eighth position, Eliza Ahmed. In the seventh position, in the circle of 10 slash 11 this year, Carolyn Risk. Sixth position, Alaria Abdi. In the fifth position, Amanda Kruchkowski. Number four in the senior class this year, Michelle Zimney. Number three, graduating this year, Timothy Sim. Number two in a senior class of nearly 3,000 students is, is really remarkable, okay? And uh, not only will he get a token gift bag, but he also wins the Salutatorian Award. He's a wonderful, wonderful human being. <clears throat> Doesn't say a lot of words. You gotta beg him to talk to you. Soham Pal. <laughs> and of course, valedictorian in a complex of this nature is, is second to none. Catherine Kuzinski. We congratulate the circle of 10. You're headed for great, great things. We move along with some more academic awards and I'm not giving them all out. There'll be other faces up here, trust me, okay? We're gonna go to our AP scholars now. Mark Basta. Amanda Kuchkowski. <laughs> Soham Pal. <laughs> Timothy Zim. <laughs> Pavli Youssef. Ladies and gentlemen, we move on to our AP Scholars with Honors, Catherine Krasinski. <laughs> Catherine, I hope you brought a shopping bag because we don't supply bags anymore. And Paulina Kukar. This next award is very special to me because I, I didn't get any of the awards when I was in Bayonne High School back in 1901. Um, I didn't get the academic awards, but I did get the perfect attendance award for four years. So, uh, and I still have perfect attendance, okay? So I, I, I really am very impressed with that for four years without missing a day. Mercedes Cruz. And Joseph Demi. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our former superintendent, uh, Dr. Patricia McGeehan, uh, has always sponsored the Dr. McGeehan Leadership Award, and this year is no exception. 
So on behalf of Dr. McGeehan, Reese Cobridge Leadership Award. And yesterday I had the pleasure of sitting with students and their parents for a Rotary citizenship breakfast. And what does that mean? These are good kids. That's what it means. Gabriella Magali, Marcus Torres. Ladies and gentlemen, as we move along with our awards, we're gonna start with our English department. And at this point, I will be happy to bring up Miss Ruane. No, oh, I'm sorry. We're going a little out of order because of the timeline of certain people having to move uh, forward. And I, I'm sorry I missed that. The Smith Fabianski Award that will be given out later is going to be given now. Miss Sheila Hudako, would you come up and give out the Smith Fabianski Award. Good afternoon. On behalf of the Bayonne Friends of the Handicap, we are proud to present the 2022 Smith Fabianski Award to Caitlin Feely. Thank you, Sheila. She's been doing that for many, many years. Now we're going to move on to English, and we're going to introduce the rector of English in this uh, Bayonne School District, Miss Nancy Ruane. Good afternoon, everyone. Before I present the English Awards, I want to congratulate all of our seniors that are sitting on stage. Um, best of luck to all of you, and we are so proud of your successes. <laughs> Simply put, this scholar is an exemplary student. She is enthusiastic, thoughtful, engaged and committed to achieving excellence in the classroom. For these reasons and for the high quality of her work, Michelle Zimney is, Michelle Zimney is the recipient of the English Award. Michelle. In 2020, the Bayonne High School community mourned the loss of English teacher Dominic Mack. The Dominic Mack Award was established in his memory to recognize a student who possesses a true passion for learning and has achieved success through hard work and dedication. The recipient of the Dominic Mack Award for this year is scholar Monica Eskridan. <laughs> Lily Sooth Candelaria is awarded the Excellence in Writing Award. She is easily one of the bravest and most original young poets whose work her teacher has ever read. To read her poems is the experience, is to experience astonishment that someone as young as Lily can be so full of wisdom, insight, and imagination. For this reason, Lily deserves the Excellence in Writing Award. Unfortunately, Lily is not with us this afternoon, but she needed to be recognized. Thank you. Even though I did not excel in mathematics when I was in high school, I will be calling the names of the math winners. The math award this year goes to Soham Pow. And 
And this year's Math Pie Award goes to Amanda Puchkowski. We move along to another major department. At this time, we will be calling the Director of Science up to the podium, and Ms. Degnan will be giving out the awards for the Science Department. Ms. Degnan. Congratulations to all the Bayonne High School Award recipients and best wishes to the entire class of 2022. I'm honored to present the Science Awards this afternoon to students that have shown a passion for the sciences and a commitment to STEM-related opportunities throughout their four years at Bayonne High School. The following students displayed excellence in the areas of life, physical, and earth and space science. Furthermore, they used their expertise to blend their content knowledge with technology, engineering, and mathematics. They develop research projects to design solutions to current real world problems. Both students receive medals and special awards in the prestigious Robert Wood Johnson Barnabas Health STEM Showcase. They presented their work in various categories, cellular molecular biology and medicine and health. They are hardworking, creative and innovative. It was an honor to follow their science fair journey at Bayonne High School. Congratulations to Marcel Gomez Jr. and Syed Shahid for being selected for the STEM Award. Oh, okay. Okay, we will move on. William Gower was born in Bayonne, New Jersey and graduated from Bayonne High School in 1937. He was trained as a technician in electrical and, and electronic systems and also served in the U.S. Army Air Forces. Throughout his lifetime, he valued education and believed that success in life was valued on hard work, a modest lifestyle, and giving back to the community. Upon his death in 2016, he willed to graduates of Bayonne High School in the form of scholarships as they pursue higher education in STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Stanley Ganga, and the estate of William Gower extend heartfelt congratulations to Eliza Ahmed, Saham Pal, Catherine Kaczynski, and Amanda Krutchkowski. Best wishes for continued success. Okay, at this time I would like to invite Bayonne High School Chemistry and Engineering teacher, Mrs. Maria Loya, to the podium to announce our engineering awards. Hi, good, <clears throat> good afternoon. This is always a big pleasure for me as a representative of the Society of Women Engineers, New Jersey section. You know, in pre-COVID days, I actually did this kind of thing at other high schools, not just yours, but it's a big pleasure to be able to keep doing it here. And this year, as a, I would like to announce two senior girls who receive the Society of Women Engineers Certificate of Merit. Okay, it's a special award invented by Society of Women Engineers that's nationally recognized. So we're talking college resume fodder. And, and it also will encourage you to, to seek out SWE at your college when you go and to possibly seek it out in the future. It was, as it helped me professionally, it hopefully will help you. All right, thank you. So the two young ladies that I'd like to invite up are Esmeralda uh, Martinez. Esmeralda Martinez, sorry, I just got away from the mic there. And, and Miriam Zaki. The science department major one as well. And there's that. And this is also, this is the, the SWE award that I had made for you guys. Thank There's you. that one. So you have this. And let me find, oops, I'm sorry. There you go. And also now for you, it's a paper clip if you need it. Miriam. So this, one, this is from the department. And this is what I had made for you guys. 
letter from me and your official award. Thank you. Certificate of merit. There you go. Thank you. Congrats. Thank Enjoy. You. Thank you very much. Next up are the Social Studies Award, direct from a two-week stint in Las Vegas. We just saw Mr. Ward host the uh, BEF Teachers Dinner, and of course, he was the MC for the Memorial Day Parade. Man about town, fasten your seatbelts, Mr. Dan Ward. There you go, a little bit more, a little bit more, kids. There you go, thank you. Second show starts at 10 p.m. Adults, the kids won't be here for that one. Um, congratulations, class of 22, but I also want to congratulate our unsung heroes. Those are the teachers and the moms and dads and the grandmas and grandpas and the aunts and uncles that helped raise these wonderful children. So please, a round of applause for yourselves and for my colleagues that are all over the building. All right, let's get down to business. And the award goes to <laughs> Pregnant Pause. Right. Um, Harmon Mudd was an economics teacher and a professor at Columbia University. And his students loved him so much that they actually named a scholarship in his name, awarded a scholarship in his name. Professor Mudd taught here in the 1930s, 40s, and 50s. So this tells you this goes on for a long time. Well, this award goes to Pavli Yusuf for excellence in economics. If anybody's looking for a loan, this is the man who's going to make the big bucks in the near future. <laughs> Don't forget us poor folk when you make it big there, kiddo. All right. From Mr. Woods in the Social Studies Department, we have a Social Justice Award, and that is given to a student who makes a commitment to making their community better, whether that be the Bayonne High School community or Bayonne writ large. So please, Deja Phillips, come on up. This award is very near and dear to me. Uh, Evelyn J. Taraskowitz was my predecessor and an educator here for 47 years. Mr. Kopez, don't worry about it. I won't make it that far, trust me, okay? The plans, we're working on that, okay? Don't get excited, it's not gonna happen that soon. So, anyway, the Evelyn J. Taraskowitz Award goes to a student that has shown a real commitment to citizenship, that whether it's being involved in local clubs, but particularly our Model UN Club, and that is future diplomat, Mark Basta. Come on up, Mark. Mark is going to solve all the world's problems. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Absolutely. All right. Again, adults, 10 o'clock. Thank you, Dan. Next up is world language. And once again, even though I didn't excel in world language, now I'm thinking, I'm not sure what I really excelled in. I did have perfect attendance. Baseball, thank you, thank you. Uh, soccer, oh, thank you. Oh, basketball, thank you as well, okay. World Language, the French and uh, the world, the French Language Spirit Award, Rosen Amanios and Ashley German Magalis. You could tell why I didn't excel in world language. Italian Language Spirit Award, Michelle Zimni and Jessica Longobardi. Italian Award, Gira Abdu Hassan Robinson.
And finally, our Latin Award, Timothy Zim, Khadija Bibi. And even though I wasn't an accomplished chef when I was in high school, I am giving the Culinary Award Arnold or Gigi Ogiri and Anissa Santiago. The next series of award comes under the leadership of Mr. Tim Craig, who is the director of business, art, and music, and is, is truly, uh, runs our auditorium, he runs our graduation, he's the master stager when we have to do a program, and I'm always indebted to him because he just gets it done, so thank you, Tim. But he has his staff here that'll be giving the business awards, art, drama, and so forth. So I begin this process by turning the program over to business teacher, Leanne Halsey. to make sure that was louder than Mr. Ward's, right? <laughs> uh, the FBLA award goes to Rowan Gad. The DECA award goes to Kira Abru. And the business honors award goes to Myrna and Maria Ishak. The Music Awards will be given out by Ms. Sam Hitchell. The awards for the Marietta De Croce Music Scholarship and the Director's Award for Band go to Gabriella Magali. The Singing Bee Spirit Award goes to Lucy Negron Hall. The awards for Louis Armstrong Jazz and the Semper Fidelis Award for Musical Excellence go to Isabella Cruz. The Patrick Gilmore Award goes to Josh Singer. The Arian Award goes to Arian Araya. Finally, the award for four or more years of commitment to the Bayonne High School Marching Band. Some of these kids have been in since the sixth grade. Gabriella Magali, Joshua Singer, Isabella Cruz, Carl Basil Blaza, and Nebula Vidal. There's also a scholarship award that goes to this from the Bayonne High School Band Foundation. I will now pass the mic to Mr. Brendan Wallers. The Drama and Theater Awards will be presented by myself and Ms. Laurie Alexander. The first award is the Tammy Blanchard Award for Drama, and it goes to Sean Clores and Michael Awad. The Edmund Lindeck Award for Drama and Musical Theater goes to Sefton Perkins and Lucy Negron Hall.
The Drama Director's Award for Achievement goes to Ace Alvarez and Zaria Keith. Great, I will pass it on to Meg Calcaterra Hall. So the Art Award goes to Esmeralda Martinez and Christine Iskander. And the BHS Photography Award goes to Bashoy Iran and Maya Rodriguez. Thank you, Mr. Craig, and your wonderful, wonderful staff. We're getting to a, an area involving athletics here at Bayonne High School, and I would like to uh, recognize a, a great athlete that played here at Bayonne High School, slipped in a little bit after we started, Mr. Kenny Kopaz, Assistant Superintendent of Schools. <laughs> Finally, I'm getting to an area where I have a little more confidence, but so be it, it was a long time ago. Athletics, the NJSIAA Distinguished Award, Katherine Krasinski for Volleyball. <laughs> National Girls and Women's in Sports Award, Anaya Scott, Basketball. BHS Hockey Alumni Association Award, Braden Dunlap. <laughs> HCIAL Scholar Athlete Award, Polina Kukar, Soccer and Volleyball. Marcel Gomes, soccer, swimming, and volleyball. <laughs> Former assistant superintendent of school, Mr. Leo Smith, very generously uh, gives us an award. It's called the Smith Family Award, Gabriella Diaz. Also from the same donor, Mr. Smith, the Smith Family Character Award for Hockey, Zachary Taylor. <laughs> Mr. Tom Jacobson, Director of Phys Ed and Nurses, is not with us at the moment, or I don't think he is. Okay. Uh, I'm giving the award in his name. He is our director. He has been gener generous enough to give this award several years now, Michelle Zimmy. <laughs> the final award, the Smith Fabianski Award, was given a little bit earlier uh, by Sheila Hudako. We come to a category now that we refer to as additional awards. Uh, they're not necessarily content awards or a specific skill. These are awards that are funded by very, very nice, generous people. Many times someone who taught here, someone who retired. Many times it's a family who wants to honor a name of someone who passed and they sponsor an award. So we have several awards uh, to give out in this category. At this point, I'm going to introduce Ms. Nicole Sexton. She is our activities coordinator, and she is the one who put this program together. This program is, is, is a lot of work, and it takes a long time to put together. So I thank her for all her efforts. Nicole Sexton. 
Hi, everyone. The first award I'm gonna announce is the Joan Rosen Arts Advocacy Award, and it goes to Gabriela Magali and Esmeralda Martinez. The next award is the BEF Student Leadership Award, and it goes to Reese Trowbridge. The Student Activities Award goes to Gabriella Magali. She just sat down, but the Student Council Award goes to Reese Trowbridge. The Ray Arzulowitz Girls Soccer Award goes to Paulina Kukar. One of our Latin teachers always gives an award every year. His award, the Craig Jacobs Latin Scholar Award, goes to Khadija Bibi. The Frank Torito Memorial Scholarship Award goes to Robert Geisler. The Carol Wynn Mutter Pearl Memorial Award goes to Sefton Person Perkins. At this time, I would like to invite the Masons up to give the Peninsula Masonic Lodge number 99 Jack Tenza Memorial Scholarship Award. Good afternoon, folks. This award is named for my brother, Jack. He was to tech here. I was a graduate of tech. My other brother, Ed, was a graduate of tech also. Uh, this is for a vocational award. A lot of dudes, academics here, but years ago, my brother said, hey, we gotta give somebody out to the vocational, let them shine. So uh, it was established uh, 32 years ago and Jack passed away probably about 12 years ago, and they named the Masonic Lodge, named it in his name, the Masonic Lodge Jack Tenzer Award. Tonight's award will be given out to Bill Chadwick. Tonight's winner is Kevin Kimball. Congratulations. This year, the Principal Award goes to Victoria Call, but she is not here in attendance tonight. Next, I'm going to call up the U.S. Marines to give their slew of awards. Good afternoon, Bayonne High School. How are we doing? So uh, before I begin and uh, actually uh, give these awards out, uh, could you guys do me a favor, close your eyes real quick, scooch up, up on your seats and uh, you know, take a deep breath, deep breath in, inhale, exhale. Now that you guys got that out of the way, you guys can go home and tell them that I had you in the edge of your seats and took your breath away. Without further ado, uh, my name is Sergeant Jesus. I'm a liaison with the United States Marines, and um, I would like to uh, give out the first distinguished award to uh, an honoring and deserving student who has excelled academically throughout the high school and has maintained the leadership standards of a high school scholar. So I do have two award winners for that. Let me get Catherine Kaczynski up on stage. Sohan Paul. Yeah. 
So the next distinguished award I'm going to give out is um, the Distinguished Athlete Award. So that goes to an honoring and deserving student and possibly unsung varsity athlete who has exhibited the unique combinations of quality mentioned above while performing in high school sports. So we got two award winners for those. Let me call on Christian Ash. Christian Ash. Let me also get Ania Scott. Lastly, uh, we're going to recognize us, the students um, deserving of utilizing their natural talents through hard work and dedication to excel as a musician. The award goes to Carl B. Blaza. Second award goes to Gabriela Miguel. Again, I would like to thank you guys in attendance today. Um, if you guys are looking and don't know what you're going to be doing after high school, come get with me in the back. Again, my name is Sergeant Desus, your local Marine Corps liaison. Thank you again. You can always tell a Marine. We're coming to the end of our program, and uh, before I make the final announcement, I just want to say to our student guests, I have great news for you. We're going to get you back for period eight. Isn't that wonderful? Well, this, we, what? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the only teacher award tonight is called the Leibowitz Award. The Leibowitz, husband and wife, Hyman and Charlotte, taught here many, many years ago. And the family funded an award called the Leibowitz Award for recognizing excellence <clears throat> in teaching. And not too long ago, every senior got a form and it said simply, vote for a teacher that has impacted on your life the most here in four years. I get very emotional about this. He has no clue. A lot of teachers get awards, but some just get a few more votes than others. Mr. Stephen Fong from our computer program. <laughs> Mr. Fong, would you come up here, please? We're not expecting you to speak, I know. I wouldn't do that to you. You don't have to speak, don't worry, okay? You're probably wondering why the VP came to your room yeah. 10 minutes ago and says, get down to the auditorium, right? Well, he, he was on a mission and he did a very good job. We congratulate you. You will be recognized at graduation as well and there's a plaque in the main office that will indicate your name in a series of names of teachers who have won that. During our graduation, rehearsal, I'm going to invite you into the gym to say a few words to the entire graduate. Don't get nervous. His heart is, whoa, whoa. But I congratulate you. Wonderful job. Well deserved, Steve. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to thank Ms. Sexton and her helpers for a wonderful job. I'd like to thank our seniors and once again our awardees and uh, wish them well. 
Uh, I remind parents that we're not coming out in a march. You can come up, you can take pictures, you can hang for a while. Students on the side, be patient, I'll be over there and we'll get you moving along in an orderly manner. I like to thank our, <laughs> I like to thank our directors, I like to thank everybody that participated and all the people who were generous enough to give an award. I closed with this line a few years ago. You weren't here, so I'm gonna say it again. Moving forward in your life, award winners, if you think you can, or if you think you cannot, you will be right. They didn't get it then, and I don't think they got it now. I'm only, I'm only teasing. But I congratulate you one more time. Best of luck in your future. We will see them again at graduation. Thank you so much, everyone. You could actually stand and stretch your legs now, okay? Parents, feel free to come down, take a picture. Bayonne High School.